In this segment I'd like to talk about the sheath um, fiber complex and the explorer. Um, this part of the explorer here is a cone socket and it leads to a channel um, that houses the what's called the window cell of the sheath. This again is the shield that pushes the soft tissue out of the way and this happens to be a right viewing explorer. Um, the silicone tip seal houses two tubes. One is a um, water tube and the other tube houses the fiber. It also um, has a channel where water continues to flow and comes out the end of the tip seal and um, this tip seal fits into this cone socket and then there's a little room at the end of the cone socket so that uh, water can flow out through the tubing over the camera. Um, you'll note that this portion here is kind of an, an ovoid shape however the portion at the um, at the junction between the silicone seal or tip seal and the cone socket is round so they they fit together and they fit pretty tightly so what what I generally do is press fit it in and I when I'm holding it I'm holding it to where the blue tubing is on the inside and the fiber tubing is on the outside because then the larger tubing lines up with this channel and you fit it in. Um, I don't engage this channel here because I don't find it's necessary and then it just puts less stress on the fiber overall. To take it out, pull back a little bit and it snaps open, then you may have to twist this out but you want to try to twist it straight out and want to try to pull it out at an angle because um, that can affect the fiber and um, but most of all it could affect the seal between the silicone and the window cell and you can get you can ca can get water or humidity up in in there sometimes it affects your view sometimes when I'm working um, I notice that that there's something on the lens so I'll have to take it out and wipe it off or sometimes I feel like um, the fiber has has shifted a little bit and so I have to go back to the spring end um, where it's connected to the MCU and move that and it and it moves this back and forth and there's a little spring in that complex that helps to keep the fiber engaged all the way to the end of the window cell. Sometimes I've even had to get my fingernail and just kind of flick it to get my image to come back into high focus um, and I'm not really sure exactly what that's doing but it seems to work sometimes even I have to tap this on my um, little bracket table sometimes I have to tap it um, which is seems to work too if it if it gets my image gets a little foggy and I think what happens sometimes is that th this um, the fiber inside just gets a little bit further away from the lens than you then will allow you to get a good focus um, so again hold with a, a big tubing out press fit fit it in the channel to remove it pull it out twist straight out maybe pick up another explorer using the yellow one now fit that in and you're ready to go if um, the water starts leaking out of here and sometimes it does leak out you just have to press it tighter or sometimes you may have to twist it pushing straight in to get the t seal a little bit tighter but I don't find that that's anything other than that is necessary